Okay, we have some data given here that says the more hours you spend studying, huh, your test score goes up. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, right. So that's what we basically want to see. Uh, we want to come up with a regression equation, which is a prediction. So we could predict, like, well, what if you studied three hours? You know, a person that studies three hours, what would we expect their test score to be? What if they studied 13 hours or three and a half hours or 1.5? All right, so let's get this into StatCrunch. Let's go to Stat, Regression, Simple Linear. My X is my hours spent studying. My test score is my Y. Don't really care about all this other stuff. Let's go ahead and get a graph and say compute. Now, when you see this right here, you should remember in algebra y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope. So the slope is 5.2. And then the intercept, 35.567. So the first time I did this, it did that. And I did it until I got it wrong, and I did that. Because I don't read. <laughs> Round the slope to three decimal places as needed. Well, or one in three decimal places. Round the y-intercept to two decimal places. So if you don't read like me, you'll get that wrong. All right, so let's go look at my graph. So it's definitely not those two, because it's we would hope that it's rising. So it looks like it's one of these. So maybe that one, right? I mean, you could click these to see um, a little closer. So let's see, does that look like that? Yeah, because see, they extended the line here. So I would say, what the heck? Let's try that one. Ah, okay, that one. <laughs> I don't have a very good eye for those, so you see I get stuff wrong too. All right, and I think I don't need this. Well, no, let me see. It might have wanted the correlation coefficient. No. All right, so I don't need that anymore. Now it says predict the value of y for x equals 3. Well, what that means is use your prediction equation here where x equals 3, so 5, hello, 5.2, if I can type, 5.2 times 3 plus 35.57. So I'm just using this prediction equation here, and I get the 51.2. Check my answers. Good job. Now they want to see, can you do it again? I wonder if I can do this. No. Probably in your calculation calculators you could just move up and change the 3 to a 3.5 so times 3.5 plus 35.57 probably could have just seen that was a little higher so that would be obvious it'd be the next one and the next one here continue you might be wanting to plug 13 into your equation but notice our data here, that goes out pretty far, so I don't think that would have very good meaning. If we wanted to predict something that far out, we probably should go get some more data um, that's closer to that value. So that's all that means is not meaningful. And then the last one, 1 1.5, you can put in your calculator, but I'm going to guess that it's that one. Okay, why did I guess that one? Because that's just a smaller value. But you just do the same thing, putting it in your calculator. All right, so the big keys to this is, one, knowing that you need it. I would just always select the graph, okay, because you may not have known that. You don't see that until next. And then definitely hit these zoom buttons uh, to try to do a little bit better of looking at the actual graph and the data points than what your bad teacher did.